Please be seated. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this very important celebration and graduation ceremony. In particular, I want to welcome our graduates, whose magnificent achievements we are celebrating today and for all the hard work you've put into getting here. We're also delighted to see so many friends and family here we thank you for the support and encouragement that you've given to our graduates during their studies, which has been so important to their success. And indeed, I also want to thank the staff who have contributed to that. So I want you to briefly, please, on this side of the hall, stand up and give a big round of applause to all those who have supported you. Thank you. So when those of you graduating today decided to study at the University of Manchester, you made a wise choice. But you also chose to make a major investment in your future, an investment that I hope began to pay dividends almost as soon as you arrived. During the course of your studies, you'll have gained many skills and knowledge to help you in your future success. We should also, though, recognize that for many, uh, university education is beyond their likely achievements. And so we are all somewhat privileged to have been fortunate enough to attend university. You might, of course, be glad to see the end of assignments now. The planning of research, the writing skills, and so on that you've deployed and nurtured will be of great value in the future world of work, and perhaps even for some of you during further study. You will have had to balance commitment to academic life with many other interests and the competing distractions of this great city of Manchester. And that, managing those demands will help you find a work-life balance as your career and your future unfolds. And of course, we must not forget the strong supportive friendships and relationships I hope you have forged here, which I hope you will also sustain for many years to come. Put simply, your achievement in completing your degree cannot be overstated for its value and the strong platform it gives you to build your career and achieve your goals. We're all very proud of you. Manchester is already one of the finest universities in Europe and we are determined to make it one of the best in the world. With students from over 170 different countries on the campus, the University of Manchester, like the city, is a truly global institution and one which will remain so, valuing its European and its international staff, students and alumni. Of course, the most important thing about a university is the people, and you are part of those people. You are what make a university, the students. During your studies, you will have all, in your own way, enriched, shaped and moulded the University of Manchester to the tremendous benefit of those who will follow in your footsteps. By reflecting on your experiences and telling us how we could do them even better, you will give us a blueprint for the future. So please do feedback what we've done well and what we need to do better. The university, of course, is changing and will continue to change, hopefully for the better and in partly because of you. So today is just as much about honouring you for this valuable contribution to the university as it is for your success in your academic studies. Armed with your academic achievements, your skills and your breadth of experiences gives you every reason to be positive about the future. Your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers all around the world recognise the value of the degree from the University of Manchester. So obtaining your degree is a very important milestone and you should celebrate that success. But I hope this is the beginning of a journey and a beginning of your association with Manchester, not the end. The return on your investment continues way beyond today's pomp and ceremony. Our career service continues to offer you help and support for three years and you can continue to make good use of our world-class libraries. Our alumni association will help to remain in contact with you 
help to maintain your contact with the university, linking you with a community of more than 350,000 Manchester graduates from across the globe. I see many of you are students from overseas, and I hope to be seeing you in your home country when you return, as I go to many alumni events. As alumni, of course, you can help future students in so many ways, as our ambassadors of the university, in student placements and employment, and just advising others. So you will now forever be part of the family of the University of Manchester. And we sincerely hope that today will not be your last contact. Remember, our doors will always be open to you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Neil Humphrey, and I'm head of the Manchester Institute of Education. I'd like to begin by re reiterating the warm welcome to our graduates, their families, and friends. Today's a very special day for you all. The hard work and dedication has paid off. I know I speak for all of our staff when I say we're extremely proud of you. You're now ambassadors for the university and for the Manchester Institute of Education. It's with a sense of overwhelming pride that I stand before you to say a few words about Manchester Institute of Education, or MIE as we're known. But before I do, I'd like to address our graduates. You're here today because you made a series of choices. You chose to come to Manchester, a city with rich history and culture and a nightlife that's truly unsurpassed. The broadcaster Mark Radcliffe was absolutely correct when he described it as the city that thinks that tables are for dancing on. Some of you will stay in Manchester and some will not, but Manchester will stay with all of you. As our resident poet Longfellow so eloquently stated, this is the place. You also made the choice to study at this university, which has produced no fewer than 25 Nobel Prize winners. Manchester is one of the UK's top research universities with more than 80% of our activity judged to be world-leading or internationally excellent. Sometimes I wonder how I managed to get a job here. But the most important choice that you made was to study education. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Whatever specific course you enrolled upon, when you chose to study education here at Manchester, it's more than likely because you wanted to contribute to that ongoing change. Education at this university has a proud history dating back to 1890, when what was then Owens College became one of the first providers of initial teacher training in England. The university appointed its first professor of education in 1899 using funding from the education philanthropist, Sarah Fielden. Fielden's influence has continued to this day with Julian Williams, our latest Sarah Fielden endowed professor of education. MIE has a worldwide reputation for research focusing on disadvantage in all its various forms and how education can be used as a tool to challenge this and to promote inclusion and equity. This work is ranked second only to Oxford in terms of research intensity. In real terms, this means that today's graduates have benefited from a truly research-informed teaching and learning experience. I'd like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to my colleagues, many of whom are here today, who work so hard to support our students. I'm extremely honored to work alongside you. Today's graduates provide a representation of the rich diversity of our programs of study including, but not limited to, master's degrees in education international, digital technology communications and education, educational leadership, psychology of education, and teaching English as a second language, or TESOL. Despite the diversity inherent among today's graduates, there's one thing that unites you all. <coughs> the hard work and dedication that has brought you here today is underpinned by a powerful passion for learning, an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Education is truly addictive. In closing, I'd like to offer you the words of the poet William Butler Yeats, who said, education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. I hope that we have lit a fire in each and every one of you, and it continues to burn for years to come. Congratulations again on your, mon uh, on your monumental achievement. Thank you.
Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctorate in Educational and Child Psychology, and also being awarded the President's Doctoral Scholar Award, Patricia Houston. <laughs> Natasha Goodall. Leanne Nicola Greenwood. Michelle Harwood. Rebecca Hyde. Leanne Jackson Taft. Constance Eleanor Law. <laughs> Beverly Tyrrell. <laughs> Alison Jane Walker. <laughs> Tracy Woodley Hume. Francesca Faye Woods. And for the degree of Doctorate in Educational Psychology, Joanne Greer. And for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Bolarinwa Adediran. Kulud Kadar S. Ali Kadar. Anton James. Sali Tuza. Yegena Ode. And for the degree of Perfect Professional Doctorate in Counseling Psychology, Feng Gua. And for the degree of Masters of Arts in Digital Technologies, Communication and Education, Samar Abdullah M. Al Hussein. Samantha Ballington. <laughs> Chong Chong Tsai. <laughs> Chong Chen. <laughs> Ing Dung. Robert Mark Lawrence Hay. Yuxian <laughs> Huang. <laughs> Pei Ling Li also awarded the Astor Award. <laughs> Apiruji Rujivek. <laughs> Siliana Spinthurakis. <laughs> Peace to Singwaya. <laughs> Di Wang. <laughs> Shuri Wang. Ibo Wei. Mm -hmm. 
You wait, Ruth. <laughs> Bing Hansia. <laughs> Cheng Si Su. <laughs> Ke Sing Su. <laughs> Ling Zhe Su. Yi Ting Zhu. Shu Cheng Zhang. Xin Yi Zhao. Xian Zuo. And in digital technologies, communication and education, the TESOL pathway. Easy Lee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wiener Tirta Prajda. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Master of Arts in Education International, Ni An. <laughs> Yuhan Chung. <laughs> Yuan Feng. Jia Zhe Gong. Xiang Zhu Guo. Ying Lin Huang. Also awarded the Platt Prize, Jun Lei. Jing Wei Li. <laughs> Shu Li. <laughs> Yan Ru Li. <laughs> Zhe Li. Jie Liang. <laughs> Bing Liu. <laughs> Rui Ying Liu. <laughs> Yu Ting Deng. Si Ying Miao. <laughs> Yu Qi <Chi> Niu. <laughs> Tzu Jia Rao. <laughs> Su Jiu Jie. Sinwe Su. Shan Yu Wang. Yu Yan Wang. Zong Tao Wang. Jing Shi Chao. <laughs> Hu 
Kui Tse. Yo Sin Xiong. Xiao Xiao Yun Shu. Ying Yang. Yuan Yao. Jia Su Jiang. Ling Wen Jiang. Ro Mu Jiang. Yan Jiang. Ya Ting Jiang. Jin Zheng. Hao Shi Zhou. Yi Chi Zhou. Lin Zhu. And in education, teach first leadership. Richard Barnes. Charity Ann Cookson. Also awarded the Astor Award, Bethany Jane Derbyshire. Sarah Emily Gledo. Rebecca Claire Granger. Miriam Greenwood. Harriet Lisa Hughes. Simon Dominic Palmer. Bethany Louise Richardson. Elizabeth Ellen Roberts. Mark James Sewards. Rebecca Jane Watson. Sophie Lauren Wheeler. And in educational leadership, Jaman Salman Al Khafiri. Ola Alam. Maram Ibrahim Al Hussain. Zainab Gajaria. Muhammad Shahid Hafiz. <laughs> Yan Hui Lin. <laughs> Yu Ting Liu. <laughs> Su.
Sun Yao Pan. Alicia Plimley. Also awarded the Platt Prize, Krishna Putri. Claire Ramston. Sania Karim Shaikh. Xiao Si Sun. Marina Tsatsian. Sui Bin Wang. Chi Yao. And in Tessel, Chiu Hyung Chen. <laughs> Shung Nan Hung. <laughs> Iski Itaki. <laughs> Xiao Tong Jia. Myung Hee Kang. <laughs> Gui Chin Li. <laughs> Jie Min Li. <laughs> Yu Shuo Li. Song Liu. <laughs> Yuan Ling Yo. <laughs> Ka Cheng Ning. <laughs> Jia Yi Wang. Also awarded the Astor Award, Ji Shui Zhou. <laughs> and in TESOL Educational Technology, Butaina Hamad A. Adamk. <laughs> and in TESOL Intercultural Education, Heirim Cho. Sun Mi Kim. <laughs> and in Tessal Teacher Education, Siti Noor Adila Binti Borhanuddin. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Education in Psychology of Education, Joanna Atkin. Deanne Mary Bolton. <laughs> Farhana Sultana Chudri. <laughs> Melissa Alexandria Yichuan Clark. <laughs> Rhiannon Dawes. Emma Jane Forshaw. <laughs> Ma 
Irene Kempitsky. <laughs> Carla Jane Mason. <laughs> also awarded the Astor Award, Emmy Jade Nicholas. <laughs> Alicia Teresa O'Neill. Daniel Frank Pope. Also awarded the Platt Prize, Katie Elizabeth Smith. And for the degree of Master of Science in International Development, Environment, Climate Change and Development, Melia Febriana Ja Puspa Wardhani. and in Educational and Psychological Studies, Kesia Page-Brown. <laughs> Ogechki Nduku, Chinagorum Nduku. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management, Leadership and Leisure, Mi Mo Sandar Min. And for the diploma, Higher Education in Management, Leadership and Leisure, Bik Kwan Agi Nung. And for the degree of Master of Science in Economics, Environmental Economics, James Alexander Asher. And in financial economics, Yixin Wu. Tian Yu Yuan. And for the degree of Master of Arts in Sociology, Vanessa Omotosho Dare. And for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Economic and Social Studies with honors, Louise Benson. On behalf of the University of Manchester, congratulations again on your great achievements. And may we wish you every success in your future career and every happiness in your future lives. Remember, you are part of the University of Manchester. Please stay in touch with us. So now, graduates of the University of Manchester, don your caps. Please all stand. I now declare this ceremony over, and now is the time to celebrate. Thank you.